mishap game one, right? And now we've got a little bit of a roll. So I, I talked about at the beginning. I said I like to at least get those four wins because you paid yep. 1,500 gems. So Agreed. yes, we lose 100 gems, but you get three packs, right? A yep. pack costs 100 gems. I normally never buy packs, but I mean, this is value. Obviously, the true goal is always five wins in any standard event, anytime you're drafting, because now we gang gems and we got those packs I as well. I just realized so. how much money and how much uh, gems you have. It's ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hoarder. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and, I, and I mean, my account has been free to play. And, and so, I mean, I do these drafts and standard events to get those gems. And that's how I get my collection. And then sure. I just try not to spend. Ooh, not our best. Yeah. I don't like this hand, to be honest. Like, missing a color. Um, we're, we're going first. We don't have, like, like Varmints is more of a late game card. Like, we have Alchemist, and then we need to draw something to, like, get somewhere. Yeah, Resting and Varmints is both late game. I, I would throw this back, honestly. This looks a lot better. All right, so we could plot, play this turn three. Man. What do you, what do you throw back here? I keep the lands, probably. I keep the lands, 100%. Um, I think we could either, let's see, what do we do on two? We could go like, I actually think we throw back varmints here. Is it hurts crazy? me to say it. I know. Cause that's such our big top end. Yeah. The, I mean, to me it's varmints though, or deserts do. But I'm I think keeping deserts, creatures. I, deserts, I think deserts do and buzzard is a good combo though. Yes. I like, and like I like plotting. I think. Yeah. I like plotting. Uh, buzzard on two and then on three kill something kill and... play it yeah and then play the outcast. yeah i throw back varmints throw back varmints i think wow it's I'm... been such a good such a good card for us right yeah but i think that like it is a later it's like a mid to late game card though. it is a mid to late. we have to have a, a lot of action to happen before that comes out yep so all right so yeah, we're so plotting we're... the buzzard yeah, buzzard on two Assume they play something, and then next turn we can, like... Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. yes. All day. I am day. absolutely shocked. I lost I mean, to that guy in standard recently. Holy God, that thing's a terrifying... Unless picture. they have no other two drop, I mean... Right. I'm a little shocked you run that out that quick. Agreed. But it's like, if you don't deal with it, like the game is yep. just over, right? Put a land card from the mill card. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, we're, I think, 100% getting our. Um, okay, so we yeah, plot the this. Priest Rider. And then next turn, yep. we, we get bring it card. in for free and we get the card. Finally, get the card. Okay. I love it. <laughs> All right, just gotta make sure I do it right. I already messed this up once, right? I know. I know. Okay. Yeah. So, what is it's this one? So, they got a treasure. If you can't create a treasure token, okay. Yeah, naturalist no, is quite good. I yeah, think. no matter it's, what, you get value out of it. Yeah, it's it's a card that gets you value, either ramps or fixes. Like or to see a death toucher and an exile creature that went into their graveyard. I, I'm happy about that. Yeah. All right, so let's just swing in first. Mm -hmm. Get our free strider going. And then don't plot. No sticks <laughs> at all. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. Nice. Oh, yes. We are firing on all cylinders. What here, a this turn that amazing. was with a kill spell in hand. Five land where we get to do all the spree. Yep. Absolutely loving it. You can and push th for 11 next turn. This this seems amazing. Oh, yeah. Bring and your big old. Kill that and that, that works. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is an incredible hand. Do it all. <laughs> hmm. Become a starter speller with ability opponent controls. You may draw a card. Oh, yeah, that's nice. No, I mean, it's a good card. Little, yeah. All right. I don't think it's going to... It's not going to save them. I want to crew this up because it's three or three. doesn't matter. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Right. But we have a little extra value we could get. Yep. Uh, Put it on the battlefield tapped. Yep. Yes, please. Do it. Yep, got a chump. And now the pressure is on, right? We essentially oh, have four power yeah. coming in the air. They need like a board wipe to get out of this one. 
No board wipes in black that I could think of, right? In this set? Uh, there is one. It's, it's Oh, like is a, there? It, it's like half of our stuff. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the half one. Right, right. Oh, that's a big creature, but... I think we just attack past it and ignore it. I just... think we do as well. It. I mean, um, obviously, I'm pumping this up. I'm going to bring this in. So let's, yeah, let's go use our right here. again to get the... Yep. Yeah, so we can save a creature. And then obviously block our 5-5, five five, but we're going to drop him to 1. Yeah, do it all day. Beaver. I think we keep it, right? Yeah. yeah. More more, more on the board. And this is great because our little token can get into Yeah, because now the token can swing into. We have something to crew this up as well. So we, oh, have, we have four, four things. Swing. Exactly. And a flyer. <laughs> yeah, so you have to kill the flyer. And yeah, get out of here. Just, then just you, get out of here. <laughs> you have to kill the flyer <laughs> and you have to drop two creatures. I think they need like back to back <laughs> mind slavers to get out of this one. Yeah, it's gonna be hard <laughs> to drop two creatures or two kill spells. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, seven life. Okay, that changes the equation. Oh my god. Oh. Holy. All right, not out of the woods yet. Okay. Well, that's a good one. That was good. Just uh, we, I guess we were counting that victory a little early. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's Did hard to... Yeah, how do you account for these ones, right, that are not in everything? Right. Ooh, can they get that flyer down now, too? Oh, they I can. So. Yeah, unfortunately. Wow. Yeah. And, and it draws a card? Jeez. And they're just, like, right back in it. This is crazy. Yeah. Everybody in chat is going to be laughing at us now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, we just have to play the beaver. Yeah. And I, here's the question. So, like, if we still swing in with everything, uh, not everything, I suppose, because the 1-1 one, one doesn't do anything, but... There, there's yeah. just no good attack here. They no. would take three and that's it. I think we, you know, we do probably attack with a buzzard, right? See, I'm... Would you okay, even yeah. do that? So, I've they have four cards. They have four cards. So there's a good chance they have something to kill our buzzard with, right? Right. I attack with We have nothing. That happens. Exactly. So I totally agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that primal command has turned it all around. 100%. Being able to find a flyer and gain seven life. I mean, seven life. Wow. I know. <sighs> and they have a full hand, right? Yep. Yep. Th this is one where it has got away from us. We needed the varmints. <laughs> now, now is the varmint. Can we shuffle our deck, please? Yeah, exactly. Even though we only have two creatures in the... <laughs> and I'm going to take the seven, obviously, if they decide to attack in, but... Oh, for sure. For sure. This is going to be tough to get So a minus one. two is still not enough. You know, it is, because we can use our one to pump the beaver to make it Oh, five. pump the beaver. And then we use that to push. Um, pump beaver, and then we have our 3-3, three, three, um, uh, you know. No, no. I, well, actually, I guess, do we want to grow the homestead or the outcaster? I was going to attack with the homestead. Oh, sure. Yeah, we could do that, too. Um, I was going to say we could, don't you want to saddle the beaver? Oh, did I not? No, oh, you shoot. just attacked with it. Oops, my bad. Yeah, because I was going to say, if you saddle it, then you can grow another creature. You know. Yeah, no, no, I meant to do that. That was my bad. I mean, this is I was awful... thinking trying to get some damage in. No, this isn't awful. Like, they need to have, like, a trick here to... Like, we're, we're doing damage to their life, which is not nothing. I feel they have a kill spell and are going to just blow us out right now, though. Well, they probably just block the 3-3, three, three, right? I think they're going to block that and kill our beaver. They could do okay. that. Okay. So, so let I damage just, hit, right? Yeah, stop yes. on damage, 100%. <laughs> and now if they've got the pump, they still blow us out, but whatever. Yeah, but we have to try. This is our only hope. Okay, we have yet to find our big big boy yet either, and we got a lot of mana. Okay, they'll get rid of that. Ooh, Where they're gonna they're gonna hit us for six. Yep. We're at 18 though, we're not worried about that. 
Yeah, actually, they're not going to hit us for six. They, they, they're, they don't want things coming in at them. Yeah, so that actually didn't work. That that wasn't awful because we got some damage in, which is certainly relevant. Yeah, um, I think it would have would have been better to saddle the beaver. So now they have something that actually can crew this. This would be a two. Wow, they came in. I think it'd be a four four on blockers, right? That's the, right. Um... It blocks, and then you tap. Yeah. So, which yeah. is why if we had done that, this would have been a 4-4. Exactly. So, I think, yeah, we definitely wanted to saddle the beaver last turn. Um, we, I guess we could still try to push for six, and then, but that's so bad. But right? then we lose one, and they get them to no. two. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, I, I, I say we wait. Yep. Thing is, even if we had our... Um, Even if we had Rise of the Varmints, Unlicensed Hearse, pretty good answer. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, that Primal Command is what turned it around. Oh, 100%. I mean, we had them down to one. I yeah. mean, we had four creatures on board. They're at one. That's a good one. I mean, off the top, that's pretty good. Yeah. I think we definitely want to try to make it a 5-5, five -five, right? Yeah. I mean, we're not attacking it anytime soon anyway, no. so. Yeah, no. We'll saddle creatures you control gain trample. I mean, that could become relevant. So if it's saddled, all of our creatures get trampled? Is that how that works? Yeah. Okay, I mean, that maybe, I think we try to goad, the, goad them into attacking us and then trying to like squeak through something, but they're probably not going to fall for it. Yeah, I mean, really, we have to top deck a removal spell. I mean... Yeah, for sure. Ooh, like that There one. it is, and there it is. The other nice thing is that will give us a mercenary mm -hmm. to saddle this as well. Cool. I think we've got to use that on their unlicensed hearse, though, right? Yeah, 100%. So now we can get um, use the 3-3 three, three to, to get the... Or sorry, the 5-5 five, five to get the 3-3 three, three going and then attack with all three. And then just use their accident once they try to crew their stupid, whatchamacallit. Hmm. So that way we're pushing like 10 damage and then they, yeah, so use the commando there. Push in with everything. Too bad we don't have the trample though. Oh, fair. Yeah, that's fair. So you were thinking like saddle the grizzly to get the other two to have trample? Uh, I was actually thinking waiting a turn, but I think waiting a turn, it could pull this game away too far. Uh, don't like that on okay. top either. Too bad there's no way. I, I thought you could choose to not keep it, but. Oh, really? So I think what they do is they, they crew their um, whatever it's called. 100%, yeah. And then we kill that before blockers. So kill it right now with all the, all the bells and whistles. <laughs> In response, I'm sure they'll take something out of our graveyard. Might as well. Yeah, why not? So now the thing is... Reach for the sky. Reach? What? I don't understand why... Does it doesn't give it like hex proof. Doesn't give it hex proof. Still dead. Oh, they draw a card. Okay. I I, they're gonna block with that. Why would you? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nicely done, Ace. Wow. That was uh. Did not know we were gonna get there on that one. Yup. Sometimes you just gotta force it. So I mean <laughs> that I mean we said we I mean everybody they they have to say I get my top decks when I need to and boy did we get with that removal spell wow got you to your four wins. <laughs> Ooh, all right, so we're there. So now it's greed time. Now right now Let's we want our, now we want our profit. Yep. 
That one, that was a fun game. Two games that in a row. A, I'm really liking the past couple games. Like I know that was a that was a crazy back and forth. Though. Real thinkers, and I think for people watching too. I mean, again, they're gonna have their own opinion. You had your opinion. I had my opinion. We're going back and forth, and I don't love this hand. I think his hand is great, actually. Really, we've got, um, yeah, we have a deputy to you know get something in the way. We've got trash the town. We've got all well, the colors. No, well, the deputy, we're not gonna search for a land True. because it's, we it's already have be four. It's going to be a, something to put trash the town on, but I think that that's honestly enough. And we've got our colors. Like I wouldn't ever throw this hand back. Oh, really? I hate this hand. We'll keep it. <laughs> I think you, you gotta. I don't know. You gotta <laughs> to, believe. To me, we, right? We have rise of the varmints, which we do not want to play for quite a while. We have one. Uh, got, See, got our better. hand's already amazing. Already amazing. <laughs> you just gotta have faith. I don't like using Trash Town on turn three for just the counters. I mostly did it to sell you and it's keeping the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Not to actually use it. Uh, we don't want the land still, though, no, do we? we do not. Well, actually, now that we've got Betrayal of the Vault. That's what I was I mean, just thinking. I feel like we naturally get there. I feel Although, like we do, too. I, well, let's see. Let's think but this if, through. If we if we don't get there on curve, though, we could be so far behind. No, let's let's get the land going. I think we have enough stuff to do that. Like trash the town maxes out at five anyway, so this this feels fine, right? Because you can you yeah. can spend five man on trash yeah. the town to get, to get all the bells and whistles. I'll, I'll tell you right now, if they don't drop a creature, I'm more willing to trash the town to draw my draw two cards curves. next turn. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. I am now we attack. We and... attack. Yup. And if they block, we trash the town and then get eat them as a three four. Yes. If they do I mean there's Although... no there's no way they block and then we're getting hit for three. Right. So if they don't block, we draw cards. If they do block, we eat their creature. I agree. Does that sound fair? Yeah, I think that sounds fair. Will will you sign on to that? I still think drawing two cards is worth this, right? Yeah, let's do it. Draw some cards. Okay, we get another one anyway, so we'll just refill it. <laughs> yeah. And now we're happy we grabbed that land too, so we can start curving out, doing things. It's yep. really hard to plot this when you are behind though. Yeah, that's true. But I think we need that 5-5. Five, five. It does hurt also if you just have the kill spell anyway. Granted, we're going to leave this back next turn, so it's not like this 3-1 is going to keep getting in. Yeah, I mean, like, we basically traded 3 life for drawing 2 cards, which I think is worth it. I think that's worth it, too. Isn't that the going rate with black draw spells? We usually pay more than that, right? All right, so we now just um, hold this back. Because we want to yeah, block 3-1. Yeah, hold that and then... Uh, do the plot, do, plot. Yeah. So the next turn, right, we at least could get the homestead down. Yeah, and then like, and if they that. kill the deputy, like we feel fine for them killing the, if they would want to waste a removal spell. In the yeah, there's no way they're going to do that. That thing is a bomb. That is good, yeah. Well, not a bomb, but it's it can be a bomb, certainly. If they find a creature that's for uh, power or greater, then it's a, okay. Not surprising. There's the Hydra. Yeah, we just go. Um, I think actually the play here is. Well, we definitely want to play the commando. The question is. I think it's the Hydra we... and swing in for four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Because the next God. turn we have the betrayal at the vault. Yeah, yeah let's do it up. It's going to be amazing. I keep forgetting that the Hydra also has haste because it's that good. Yeah. <laughs> the card is such a bomb. All right, you see, so... Ace, all we got to do is just draw your Hydra every game, and then you can't I lose, know, last right? game was the one game we didn't draw, and we were, we were in quite the pickle. We needed the Hydra. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Stop yeah, it. This is going to hurt a lot, um, a whole lot. So I think you block their 3-3, three, three, right? I think like, we yeah. have to. Uh, just try. If they, if they have a combat trick, they have a combat trick. It's going to be awkward for sure. Oh, God. Well, this is actually That's okay. not this too is... bad. Not too bad. 
We get back our five five. We do the same. We thing get back the five turn. five, and then we kill both of their yeah. or, or kill two of their do, creatures. Yeah, do that now. Yes. Or do you want to attack in first? No, you do it now. No, hundred percent now. Yeah. Okay. They have two mana. What? Are, I mean, I can't imagine. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Could do stuff, but it, not enough for us to care. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, there's there's nothing else you're gonna be do. Uh, I yeah, the untapped one for sure. Yeah. Kill the untapped one, because we're just going to attack, right? Well, we are at six. Oh, we're at six. That's quaint. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Uh, if we rise, how many creatures do we get? Two. Mm, I think we'd probably rise. I think we rise as well. It's not yeah, the greatest value, but we're going to get to draw cards next turn anyway. And we get to attack. If we rise, we get to attack. And yes. That's, that's kind of... I'm just all about those benjamins so the thing is we now have a good blocker for them and then next turn right we'll be able to put some counters draw some cards all the trample uh obviously we only want to lose one of our varmints because we would like it to be able to saddle up a homestead yeah for sure yeah because now wow. they're on the back they oh yeah and they don't even attack here yeah so now we just um push in with everybody and see what they do right or and then we could well, always just play this if we have to as a blocker yeah for sure because right we could pump the squad and get in for the game yeah shove in for for lethal and then see what they do and i think we just sit and like uh, allow this because they've got nonsense we have to assume they have nonsense. we don't just go for the win um i think that like we functionally have the win anyways if we true if we sit back yeah no i like that call like, and then now Rictus Robert can do its big thing. We just play True. hard cast it and we get our extra 2-2 two -two and that feels really good. Yeah. No, good call. Now, no, no, no. I, li I like your line after all that. Yes, yeah. 100%. You are right on that one. Yeah, because I think that, like, getting greedy there could, like, potentially cost 100%. Us. Okay. Oh, nice. I like that. It's nice when you get the double value. Right, right. They're still super Good dead. response. You only have three mana, though. <laughs> well, we yep. said that last game, and then they... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> they pulled out the... Oh, and we get there. We get there. All right. Nice. Way to turn it around, Ace. Right, so th that is the thing, right? We lose the first one, and right now we're in the middle of a reverse sweep. <laughs> That's right. And we get there. So right now, no matter what happens, you're happy. You got 100 gems. You got four packs. We got value. But this is the greed part. This is where you really want to get all the things. All right, let's get, keep going. This is keep awesome. Going. Man, the power yeah, level of this set is so much greater than Murderers at Karlov, man. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, I think that, like, that's why, like, there's so much good removal over multicolors. So, mm -hmm. like, those, um, the four mana just kill anything. Like, that card is so good. <laughs> right, because we have we have three four mana spells that will kill anything we need. Yeah, which we need all the time. Oh, yeah. But, like, you know, even the minus two minus twos that we have, like, those definitely, like... No, they're awesome know, early, and they're combat tricks is what we've actually mostly tricks. used it for. So, totally. right, we took out a 7-7 seven, seven because of that thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, all right. Boy, I could definitely go back and look at this one, though, and definitely see my blundering errors. And you said you told us to keep that last one, and it worked out. That hand so. was great. You, I knew we were drawing the free, free booter the whole time, or whatever the heck So I free... like this hand. We have a two-drop that this we can immediately amazing. saddle into it. Yeah, okay. So you're good we on this one, too. all of our colors. We have four land. I would never throw this back. Yep. Boy, we did 16 lands, and we're having no problems drawing lands either, which is good. Yeah, I mean, we've got a pretty low curve, Ooh. too, right? That's a good one. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one, right? Things can get out of control with this card. We've got a nice 2 3 4. Like, I we mean... do. Okay. So I feel like they've got like a um, a flash creature. Probably like a 2 2, whatever, with flash nonsense. I still want to swing in with. Oh, yeah, do it. Get in. Yee doggy. Little bit of ramp, we love it. Oh, that's great. Right? I mean, right, opened it up for him to swing in, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I really like that, um, the, whatever that's called, the mobile homestead seems really it good. It just getting in one time just already like shows its worth, right? 
As long yeah. as it's your turn, mounts and vehicles. Okay. That is what a good is, blocker. What is the what does the herd whisper do again? She gives them vigilance or Oh, on, just... so it's a uh, as long as your turn, mounts and vehicles you control have hex proof. Whenever a mount or vehicle you control attacks, put a plus one plus one oh. counter on it. God, that's terrifying. Um, so that is going to be a four five. Yeah. Well, we want to get that beaver going stat, right? So the beaver is obviously coming down. We know that. And I think this is a situation where you can't attack in with this. Um, the reason I say that yeah, is no, you, I agree. you crew they, they it. Getting, yeah, yeah they, it's four or five. Getting, we can't block it. They start getting crazy value, so we got to sit back. Yeah. So this is and a situation where I think I crew homestead with the beaver and double block. Uh um interesting yeah because it's going to be a four or five now if they have so in response crew your yeah 100 percent. so this way if they, they can't attack this turn they know that yeah and I mean, I'm, I'm not going to find a land this time no please don't we, we got plenty of that. We're ready for our Hydra, please. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they just pass it off. Yeah. Oof. Ooh, that's a good one. That is so, a great one. Good question. The yeah. Bighorn, does it uh, trigger off the attack? Yes. When it attacks? Yes. So, so we I let it saddle before we kill. Exactly. That's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. All right, so get so, that deputy going, but do not, for the love of God, yeah. put a hand on. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to decline that action. De declined. Thank you. Well, um, the other question is, do you just try and swing in with the four damage right now? I feel like we probably could, right? Because, I mean, we're trading damage, and we're totally okay with that. The, uh, only, the only problem with it is they play a creature to saddle this up, and they're still going to get in for three then. Yeah, but I mean, so what? Like, we go down to 11, and we're hitting, we're doing four for three, which I think is okay. It's not amazing, but it's okay. Um, Yeah, maybe we sit here. I mean, we don't have, like, anything to, like... I mean, to surveil, the hope is we're going to find some threats and when we kill okay, some. Okay, let's attack. Let's, let's be aggressive attack. Oh, you know what? Should we have saddled our grizzly? Oh, yeah. Oh, it gives trample. I mean. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. It's not a huge thing. Yeah, they took it anyway, so, uh, yeah. So now I'll assume a creature comes down, you saddle it, and they both... Sw oh, wait a minute. It's Shoot. got hex proof. Oh, crap. Yeah, we read so that, and we... It's okay. Beginning of combat, you just kill Miriam, right? <sighs> I mean, it's not great, but it's... Because otherwise it's going to... If we kill Miriam, we do it turn. now. No beginning of combat. That's before they're able to attack, like during the beginning of combat step. As long as your turn mounts and vehicles you control have hexproof. Whenever a mount or vehicle you control attacks. I know, but during the beginning, like the beginning of combat is like a separate step. Yeah, still... but I mean, is that, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but. Well, if they play anything else in their main phase, it'll matter. Yeah. I mean, I assume they're just crewing right here. They're going to attack with both. Probably, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I guess now we kill Miriam. Yeah. Now they're going to get a 1 1 out of this deal, though. Well, there's not much we can do about it. Yeah. I think we don't want to give it a counter, also, right? Oh, well, this is perfect. Um, throw for. Let's see. Th we want throw from the saddle, right? Yes, first. We can use that to kill And then the, the next one will kill the bird. Right. Exactly. Okay. All right, so we get in that now way. Now we saddle. Well, careful. You want to saddle to give it trample, right? That's true. We are not getting chumped by no silly 1-1. One, one. So we're, we're going to take four here. We'll go to seven. We'll get yep. their bird. If they have a bomb, though. I mean, even if they have a decent creature. Wow. They Okay. They want to keep that back. Okay. 
I think that, yeah, I mean, it all depends on what they, I mean, we, we got to play to what we've got though, right? Um, here's an interesting question. So we could saddle and then attack. See what they do? See what they do. I guess it's not really any different, right? Otherwise, actually, since our 1-2 one, one, blocks their 1-1, one, one, yeah. maybe just kill it. Attempt to kill now. it? Attempt to kill it. Yeah, I guess attempt to kill it before attackers, so just do it now. So they'll get a 1-1 one, one, a bread mercenary out of the deal. Oh, will they when it dies? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, so I yeah, think we I do saddle then. Yeah, saddle, attack, and then if they block, do the, do the thing. Too bad this does not crew for one, right? Right, but that's, yeah. So now we have to go for it. Yep, I think we just hope it works. All right, that's good. So at least we were gonna drop him to three right here. We draw yeah. a creature off the top, we're going to come in with a 3-3 three, three trample and a 5-3 trample. I mean, that's what we're hoping will happen here. I mean, honestly, like we have we have not drawn great this game, but neither have they. Yeah, we, we've drawn a billion land, but <laughs> they have quite a few as well. So I'm feeling top deck Hydra. I mean, always, right? It's, it's, it's got to happen. I mean, they're <laughs> thinking this long. I mean, they've drawn yeah. a lot of land, too. They have eight land. We have eight land. I think that they draw land this turn, because if they... I mean, they wouldn't be thinking about it this long. Holy... Okay, that's rough. We're not dead, but it's We're very not close. dead. We're at... <laughs> oh, God. Okay. okay. Wow. Primal Might. I mean, that's a good one to draw, Bloodseeker. That is a yeah. good one. Do we, I think we, we self mill, right? I think we do. Hope to not hit the varmints. Two pretty decent creature or cards though, but that's okay. Oh, check this out. So we crew. No, no, we don't crew. Don't no, we don't me. crew. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna pass right here. Yeah. I like right. keeping the one land. Let them think we might have something. No, totally. Right? Yeah. If you draw but another if, land, then you play one. If you draw the Hydra, you still get to play the land and the Hydra. So yeah, every, everybody always holds a land. Yeah, right? I mean, you would assume. Yeah, but the people when they don't, it always surprises me. Wow, Primal Might, huh? These, I know, uh, right? That was a silly card. Oh God, what what is that thing? Target creatures plus one turn. It deals damage equal to its power. Well, that's a shame. Okay, no, yeah, crew your yeah. Yeah, yeah. If we don't get to draw that or gain that life though. That was the shame part. Yeah, so now least... you can make this into a 3-2, and then we're going to block. For sure. 100%. Well, yeah, they were... no. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to go for the win if they do it. Oh, yeah. I mean, they were hoping that we weren't going to crew in response, obviously. Okay. So. Here... Oh, interesting. Here's yeah, the thing, block... right? Do so we, 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 we could block with the 1-2. And go for the win. And then go for the win. Or we go with the safe bet. I think it actually has to be the safe bet, right? I think it has to be the safe bet. God, I want to go for the win it, so I mean, bad. If we draw a land, if we draw a land, if you draw anything game. but a creature with two, two like yeah, we're okay. Just okay, dead. stop for a second. How many land do we have in our hand? Just stop for a minute. So we have there's eight. Okay, look at the yard. How many land are in the yard? None. None. Okay, how many creatures? We have fourteen creatures in the deck. What are, the, what are the uh, we have thirteen creatures? 13 creatures. How so many that's one, two, three, four, five. So we yeah, have I think eight. We, yeah, eight we, we just got to do it. Yeah, I was trying to think of like, what's the math? You know? oh, okay. But we, oh, we got it anyway. We still get to win. We, we get it anyway. <laughs> bink, bink, yes. bink. Safe bet for the win. <laughs> uh, target creature. Target creature. Yeah, how about that one too? Yeah. It's a little bit of it all, right? <laughs> wow, we get that. <laughs> for the win. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. Love it. That was, that was great. <laughs> wow. I mean, that, I mean, after our last couple games, that one was not the greatest game on either part. Neither one no, of us had those no, stellar totally. hands. So I think when we kind of 
we kind of scrapped that one together, but that's our hundred percent. Right. I mean, they were scrapping it together too. We both draw eight lands, just <laughs> not pretty all around. And yeah. final countdown. Final boss. Final boss. <laughs> all right, here we go. So right now we're in line. Reverse sweep. We're six one. Started off oh one. Yep. <laughs> oh. Wow, and I mean, this is kind of a little scrappy, crappy, put together deck here. I mean, yeah, a, a good, a good little bomb. We have some decent removal, right? Good curve. I like it too because, like, you're seeing lines that I don't see, and I think I might be seeing a couple lines that you don't see. Hundred so percent. It's nice to kind of have the the mix. Yeah, no, I would say you're up on the line scene. Oh my god, I'll keep this all day, every day. Yep, right. We got our two drop to Silver find Deputy our land. And, yep. Yeah. We'll keep See, this. This is why Silver Deputy is good because you always have two landers and need that third land. You're selling me on him again. This was a pick I was not not high on. Yeah, but isn't it great? It's like the best thing ever right now. So I think double green. You sure. you say double green? I was gonna say double black. But look at Betrayal of the Vault. It takes two green. It's in our hand. It is, but that's six mana. We have four mana plays that take double black. Oh, do we? Well, that are kill spells. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get the black. So one. my only thinking is by the time we get to six land, I better have a second yeah, force by then. No, that's true. Let's get the black. That's a good point. Now, again, I could be totally wrong. We'll find out, but... <laughs> well, I, I forgot I forgot about the, the kill spell that takes them. And that's I don't believe we have any other double green... Yeah, I don't think so. So I guess we just get in for one. Yeah, get in for one, and then we can get the. Um, I do the. I prep the buzzard or plot the buzzard. Oh, you would plot the buzzard. Yeah, because we're gonna desert do whatever they play next turn, and then it'll come in as a three two. Oh, I suppose that's true. Right. Otherwise, I guess if we draw land, we could always go free strider. But I think plotting the buzzard makes more sense. Okay. I, I actually like there being the aggressor and getting a 2-1 flyer and just start trying to be a beat, but... Yeah. Excuse you? Um, whoops. Did we just... One they played an Oko. Oh, God. Are, are you well, joking? I don't think they are. So I guess we just play the... Or plot the commando and... Holy play the cow. Play the buzzard, right? Yeah. Gotta start working on that Oko. Yeah, let's, for one. let's put in our chip shot. Wow. <laughs> this card is oh, broken I, back in standard. This thing is on the list. I, Are you kidding me? Yep. Holy. So they can give us a food token for one of our creatures. Is that how this works? I mean, they're not going to do that. No, but. Yeah, no, they, they, they're just turning into, yeah. Okay, so I think we use Desert's Do on their two three, and we we send both of them in to the Oko, obviously. So like whatever they block with, um, we you know we just minus two minus two their Drake, so it dies. I also might want to give the pump oh, too. Yeah, we can pump too. I think yeah, we'll send them both at Oko and see what they do. Maybe maybe wait on the pump though. Oh, uh, yeah, let's wait to see what they do. No, I just mean, I don't even, like, do I really want the pump? I'm still not killing that. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, I think you just kill their 2-3 with the Desert's Do thingy. Do they have nonsense? Oh, that's, oh, no. That sucks. What? They had two mana open? I thought they only had one. Yeah, how did they do that? Am I wrong? Oh, wait, okay. As long as your turn, oh, spells you cast cost... No, it's not their turn. Yeah. How did this only cost one? It's, it's it's our turn. It's not their turn. Exactly. Oh, as, as long, long as, as it's as not your turn, spells you cast cost yeah. one less. Okay. Okay, yeah, they blew us out. Well, that's a, that's a bummer. Yeah. If we pump... Ah, uh, never mind. No, I'm, I'm just playing. Let's just replay it. Yeah. yeah. Right, because now we could do all the modes on this. Yeah. And if we get the land, we still have this to blow out. Right. Man, Oko is such a beating. I mean, we're going to take all our tricks just to try and get rid of this thing. I know, yeah. 
Wow. Whew. And they pass. I, that's so fishy. Um. So, trash the town. Hang on. Three mana to give it plus two plus two, right? For trash the town? Yes. Okay, so yeah. I think that let's start out with throw the saddle and see what happens. I want so, throw the saddle at the Drake. Yeah, agreed. I think we pump up our free strider, right? Or, or, or is that a bit fishy? Do we pump our buzzard to do it? I say pump the buzzard, because if they yeah. do a bounce spell again, I'd rather have yeah. to replay that. No, that's true. Let's try that. I mean, they have something fishy. There's no way you're leaving up five mana. They've definitely got something. The question is what or how many spells have they got? I, I don't see a way around this, though. We have to start taking care of Oko or it's, this game is totally over. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. 100%. So. Trash the town. I say we trash the town now as yeah. well. So we make our buzzard a 4-3 and kill it. The good old reverse gotcha. Let's see if they now have another one. Oh, stop. Make the make the hurting stop. Oh, they've got something. Oh god. <laughs> uh, oh well. Well, we can still attack into it. Um so I we guess we can. use our deputy to pump the the bird, I suppose. Not that it matters. Yeah, I agree. We try to get that Oko a little bit down. I mean, at least now we can have a profitable attack. Yeah, because if they want to double block, we kill both of theirs off of that. So I think... And then if we draw a land next turn, we can try to, you know, use our betrayal to... Yeah, do hopefully, because, I mean, you'd think their Oko, they're going to create another elk. I would think so. And that would be, like, that would be, like, our one chance of, like, trying to get back into this game if we can, like, kill both yeah. of those things. Oh, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Oh, yeah. Yep. We just need a land. Uh, that's not a land. Well, we can make a... We can do all the modes. Um, so we can make our... Let's make our free, our free strider a 6-5. And then see if they only want to triple block it and see if they get greedy. Yeah, so now we get to do, we um, kill their 3-3, make a dork, and keep our guy alive. Okay, we need that land now. All right, I mean, we're getting, a, a, I mean, right, they're top decking right now. Just draw a land for us. All right, that's not the worst. All right, now they're yeah. going to make a food. Oh, no, they're going to make it bigger. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yes. And they're going to make a food. This is like the... We, we need it. Oh! Need the land. Yes. oh Oko is we're... dead. Oh, yeah. All right. This is amazing. I think we I think we win this game now. I mean, we're, we're at least at a top deck battle. Right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, so, so Oko, and then I'm going to get two points of damage in. 100%. So Whoa. they have three life they could gang, and man. Oh, go down. Talk Finally. about literally throwing everything we had. Yeah, we had to throw the kitchen sink at him. All right, what did, what did they just do? 4-3 enters the Long battlefield charge. if you cast two or more. Oh. Honest Redstein's pretty good, though. No, nothing we want yet, though. Um, I don't think Buzzard's good enough to use it. I disagree. You think Buzzard's think good that... enough? I think it's fine because we can play it this turn. We just like keep pushing. All right, so I'm just swinging like this. So if they kill my mercenary, oh, you know I get the I, pump. You, you know what you should have done there? It, it doesn't matter now, but you should have used the token to pump this this the silver, so that that way we could have gotten potentially if we if we cared. Not that we cared. Oh, but. what I wanted is I wanted them to trade. 
You play the Rustine, you get back the Buzzard, and it would have got a counter. Yeah, that's true. So that that's what I was thinking. All right, so yep. you're thinking we just play this and go Buzzard and just put the pressure. Well, yeah, they're at 10 life. That's right. I always forget how aggro you are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm all about just getting it in there. And we want to play it. Yeah. Right, that's true, because I mean, we can make this four power. Yeah, like, they're going to go to 13, sure. But, like, if they tap down their guy to play, um, to make their their, their loan shark a yeah, little bigger. Yeah, that's good. They're going to get a draw off of this, too. Um, which is annoying. Yeah. And they're definitely getting back into this game, which is horrendous, but... Oh, it gives both Holy of the cow. Oh my gosh, oh, what yeah. a draw. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, so, yeah, we, so um, what we're going to do, is, if this is my opinion, is I'm going to yeah. pump this to four. Pump that to four and then pump, pump the buzzer my buzzer. Swing in with everybody. Um, No, they don't have trample, so I would just kill the four or five now. I oh, feel, I feel like they're going to try and double block this. Oh, I think that's... Here's the thing. I think it's better damage wise if we just kill the four or five. I mean, I think you're going for a blowout. I'm going for like sheer damage to kill them because, like, if we just kill their four or five, they're in a super. All right, bad so we're going to hit them for eight, is what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. No surveil off of it, though. Oh, uh, fair. Um, okay, since there's no surveil, is it better to kill the stupid naturalist if they double block? Yeah, probably. But they probably will think something is They're up. probably going to block here, and they still might take eight. All right, fine. I, I'm i okay with since I think the surveil is what tips it in your favor. I want the blowout. <laughs> okay, they don't do it. So no, don't it, do it, it ended up not mattering at all. Yeah. Right. Right. They still take the eight. I still get my eight, and you still get... Uh, <laughs> I get know. my attempt of my... <laughs> you get your attempt at, uh, at stuff. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that yeah. could get you right back into things. Yep. All right. Oh, we got there. Ha-ha. <laughs> Ooh, trophy. Woo. Oh, man. That was a, that was a squeaker on that last one. All right. Well, I'm happy that worked out better for us than our last draft together. But we get there. We get the reverse sweep. Lose that first game. I bet all of you doubted us after that one. Woo! Yeah. Uh, a few great top decks. A few good calls on your part as far as which you way too. to get you in did. there. So You definitely pulled me out of some seriously uh, bad decisions. All right. Let's go ahead and claim that. And a few interesting picks we ended up doing then as well that, you know, maybe I wouldn't have done or maybe you wouldn't have done. So definitely awesome. Yeah. We'll have to be doing this again and let's show For everybody sure. what packs we're gonna get so let's open them all there i love go. this wow boom all right let's see what we got look at all a those little pass control cards. more so best of three sideboard yep i do want to build be, a selesnia deck off of that i think that that's going to be huge in standard personally the seraphic steed Ooh, i actually like, uh the world championship card i i want to yep. pair with this there you go. You're going to make that into eight power by playing it. Yep. So that's a, a little thing I'm looking to build. Great train heist. Ooh, cool. All right. And a, a magnet. I already have three of those because uh, I actually just made my video that for the viewer just went up. It's my Friday video, which is going to be a oh, Grixis nice. crime deck. So I had to get a cool. few magnets in there. So yeah, all right. Yeah. Very nice. And yeah. Helping my gem awesome. count out. I appreciate it. So I can't wait to do another one of these. Yeah. hundred percent. So again, this is going up on Saturday. You can go check hand of justice. I always send him all the videos too. He decides if he wants to put them up or not. We oh, will I definitely will, uh, be clapping again though. So. Up. Yeah, this will be on my channel too, so I appreciate you. Awesome. And make sure you go check out his channel again. He's doing his little mythic run to number one. He's at least going for it. He's giving a shot. And yeah, we we're off, in the... Go ahead. I think we're in the, we're in the 900s now. So okay, okay. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. And, and so right after we get off of this i'm going checking out paul chin we both could not recommend him enough if you are oh into God, drafting yeah. uh, awesome person to watch follow his journey it's one video per day he's excellent great commentary you're going to learn a lot about it we definitely probably made a few mis more mistakes than he does uh, for sure we ended up getting there though so i can't wait to check out his stuff and i love drafting it's one of those things i'm going to keep doing again people ask me how do i have 53,000 gems well yeah. it's Free to play account. I've never pe spent a penny. It's standard events. It's drafts to slowly yep. build that thing up. I used my gold to go into drafts originally as far as quick drafts, standard events to just start yeah. getting them. And then when I feel like I'm good enough, I spend those gems on the actual premium draft because you get more packs. So for sure. And absolutely I 100% a blast. Love these collab drafts. These are so much fun for me. So I'll do these all day long. Yeah, you. doing this as my first few, I think is so helpful. Cause again, I don't think I would have gone seven. I actually, I promise you, I would not have gone seven to one if it was not a collab, getting kind of your feedback on everything as well. So awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. I appreciate you so much, Ace. All right. So until next time, never forget, you're an ace. Take care, guys.